Hello, my name is Samuel and I'm with the Pioneer Library System. If you're looking for something to do at home, now is a good time to dive into the vastness of our digital collection. A fun way to do this is traversing the world through cinema. Many of the films, all of the films actually, that we will be exploring today, you can start streaming today with your library card. Most of them are on the platform Canopy, which has a wide array of movies. But a couple of the films I've pulled from Hoopla, where you can also find ebooks, audiobooks, music, and much more. Let's begin. The first stop is Chile. The 2011 film Violetta Went to Heaven, directed by Andre Wood, is a biopic of the famous Chilean musician and composer Violetta Parra. This film can be streamed using Canopy. The next stop is South Korea. The 2007 film The Host is directed by the Oscar winner Bong Joon-ho. The plot follows a family whose city is being terrorized by a local river monster. This film can be streamed using Hoopla. Moving to France, we have the 1962 film Cleo from 5 to 7. French director Agnes Varda takes us on a journey following a notable singer navigating both Paris and her life while anxiously awaiting the results of a biopsy. This film can be found on Canopy. The next stop in our journey is Japan. Here we have the epic 1954 film Seven Samurai, directed by Akira Kurosawa. In this film, a farming village manages to hire seven samurai to help protect them from bandits who plan to raid their village at the next harvest. You can stream this today on Canopy. Moving on to Mali, we have the 1987 film Yelin, directed by Suleiman Sise. This film, inspired by a Malian legend, follows the story of Nian Nankoro, who is set on a path of conflict with his father, a sorcerer. This film is on Canopy. Next up, Costa Rica. In the 2015 film Viaje, directed by Paz Fabrega, a couple that meets at a party go on an impromptu romantic weekend trip. This film can be found on Canopy. Moving to Brazil, we have the 2016 film Don't Call Me Son. This film is directed by Anna Mollert and chronicles the story of a gender-bending Brazilian teenager whose world is flipped upside down when they learn they were kidnapped from the hospital as an infant. From Italy, we have the 1963 film Eight and a Half, directed by Federico Fellini. This film tells the story of a movie director who's experiencing the simultaneous implosion of both his life and film project. This can be streamed using Canopy. Moving on in our journey to India, we have a film from the legendary filmmaker Satyajit Rai titled Pater Panchali. This film follows the story of a young boy named Apu being raised in a rural Bengali home. You can watch this film with Canopy. Our next stop is Argentina and the moving 1985 film, The Official Story. This film, directed by Luis Puenzo, tells the story of a teacher seeking out the mother of her adopted child. She suspects this woman was a victim of the government's genocidal policies. You can find this film on Canopy. From Germany, we have the 1972 film Aguirre, The Wrath of God, directed by Werner Herzog. This film follows the story of Aguirre, who leads a group of Spanish soldiers on a doomed quest for the city of gold. You can watch it on Canopy. Moving to Mexico, we have the 2000 film titled Amores Perros. This film, directed by Oscar winner Alejandro González Iñárritu, centers around a car crash that intertwines three stories from varying walks of life in Mexico City. You can find this film on Hoopla. Our final stop is Zambia in the 2017 film I Am Not a Witch. This film, directed by Rungano Nioni, follows the story of a girl named Shula who is accused of being a witch. 
This film can be found on Canopy. Thank you for joining me 